Hey everyone, welcome to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Happy holidays from all of us to all of you. Let's go see the one and only Steve Hayes, Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Tired Old Queen, Tired Old Queen at the Movies, at the Movies. Ho oh, ho, Johnny. Merry Christmas from all of us at Tired Old Queen at the Movies. I wanted to do something that was warm and wonderful and lovely for Christmas. So I chose 1946's My Reputation, starring Barbara Stanwyck, George Brent, Eve Arden, John Ridgely, and Lucille Watson. This movie was directed by Curtis Bernhardt, and it's the story of a widow who has recently lost her husband. She has two small boys, and she's trying to get her life back together again. The rug has been pulled out from under her. The war is not over. Her husband died after a long illness, and she is having a breakdown. There's such a lot to do with. But there isn't, is there? Nothing to do at all. Her mother is an old Victorian woman, Lucille Watson, very staunch in what she does and what, how she feels about her daughter. And she wants her daughter to wear black all the time. And Barbara Stanwyck says, I don't want to wear black. I'll do anything, but I watched you wear black all my life and I'm not wearing black. I shall wear it until the day I die. She starts to have a breakdown and her best friend is Eve Arden. Eve Arden is wonderful in this movie. And I think this movie, it was shot in 44, but it was held back for some reason and it wasn't released until 46. And I think this movie had a lot to do with her getting Mildred Pierce, which she got an Oscar nomination for, because she plays the very best friend this Barbara Stanwyck could have. And she's very real. But your life's not finished. It's happened to thousands and thousands of women all through the ages. And now it's happened to you. Now I want you to come with Carrie, her husband, and me up to our con cottage in Lake Tahoe and do a little skiing and get yourself together. So Stanwyck says, well, all right, I'll do it. So they go up to Lake Tahoe and they ski. And when she's up there, she meets this soldier played by George Brent. Well? I, uh... Oh. Anyone who can do that to a ski hasn't any business wandering around alone in the woods. I know. Him. She can't ski for shit and she falls over and he saves her and picks her up and they have to walk and trudge back to the lodge. And right away he starts putting the moves on her and it scares her. She doesn't know how her kids are going to react. She doesn't know how her mother's going to react. She doesn't know how her friends are going to react. And her friends are always gossiping in the store about this woman and that woman who's been divorced and she's picked up somebody and this one. And she doesn't want to be like that. I'm afraid I don't care enough anymore. Oh? And why did you bother to come here at all? Because I was still coward enough to want to save my reputation. How quaint. But she can't deny that she's really attracted to this man. In case you're cold, Major Landis. This is a lovely, romantic, adult movie for that particular time. And it has a lovely Christmas scene. And he runs up against that mother of hers and she's not very nice to him. I can see that you're a thoroughgoing scallywag, young man. I'm delighted to hear you say so. And he just holds his ground and he says, you know, um, you're going to have to make a choice between your mother and your reputation and me. And I love you. And um, I can't guarantee that I'm going to marry you. I'm about to be shipped overseas. But if you wait for me, we'll figure out how things go. It's a cute hat. I like the way you do your hair, too. Warm in here, isn't it? Her kids say to her, Mom, don't you remember Dad at all? And it's the, it's the age-old thing of when, how much do you let go? How do you recover? When can you fall in love again? And can you fall in love again? I know what I'm doing. I wonder. Oh, oh, the big thing, one of the big things in this movie was that uh, this was the first movie where they showed a married couple in bed together. Before this, somebody always had to have a leg over the side of the bed, or they always had to be two beds. And this, when they go off to the lodge, Eve Arden and John Ridgely, who are married in this movie, share a bed together. And they're quite obviously in bed together. And they have a great little relationship. Oh, I was thinking about Scott and Jess. Oh, now listen, my pet. Stop thinking about them. For once, keep your fingers out of the pie. You're a hard-boiled mug. And you are a matchmaking nuisance. Good night, my pet. Stanwyck always loved this movie because she thought 
the woman was a real woman and it was a real look at problems that women her age had. And it's nostalgic, it's warm, it's very, 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 very funny in some points, and it's very, very serious in others. It's a, it's a really solid Warner Brothers picture. The guy that directed is Curtis Bernhardt. He was from, you know, he was another one who a refugee director from Germany, and he had worked at Ufa, and he knew how to put a story together. Um, he may not have mastered the language very much, but he really knew how to do it. This movie is the perfect Christmas fair because it's one of those movies where everybody gets cuddled up next to a fire, and you're going to want it too. It's romantic. It's just fun. Merry Christmas from all of us at Tired Old Queen at the Movies, and welcome to the world of my reputation with Barbara Stanwyck, George Brent, Eve Arden, John Ridgely, Lucille Watson. Tired old queen wishes you. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Popcorn can't be beat. <laughs>